Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a how-to video on BMX. Today we're at Adrenaline Alley again in Corby. And today's video, we are going to be learning how to do a foot jam on a quarter pipe. So let's go. This is a trick you can literally start learning without a skate park. You can learn it like on a curb like I did when I first started. I didn't have a skate park. Luckily, I have this facility to teach you guys. And if you've got a skate park, brilliant. But if you haven't, don't worry. You can still start learning this trick on flat ground. So basically a foot jam on a BMX is where you stick your foot in the front wheel, balance on the front wheel and go back into a quarter pipe. So that's what we're gonna teach you today. I'm brakeless and uh, I ride left foot forward. So it's gonna be my left foot that goes into the wheel. So if you're right foot forward, it'll be the right foot that goes into the wheel. There is goofy variations, but for the purpose of just learning a trick, we're gonna keep it standard. And uh, yeah, front foot in the front wheel, balance on the front wheel and back into the ramp. So let's learn how to do a foot jam. So in today's video, we've got this five foot quarter pipe here to teach you guys how to foot jam. But if you don't have a five foot quarter, or you've got a three foot, four foot, two, whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you're comfortable riding that ramp, perfect to learn it on like i say when i learned this trick it was literally on a curb in my street so like i was practicing hopping onto the curb into foot jam hopping off the principle is exactly the same on a ramp so if you can just go into your street practice hopping onto a curb landing in foot jam and then hopping back off the curb you already got the motions like in progress to learning how to do a foot jam so we've got a five foot quarter pipe here which there's a bank over there that will help gauge consistency within the trick so if you've got a half pipe as well a half pipe is ideal to learn this trick because you can gauge speed you, you can pump depump all those all those factors to figuring out the speed for a foot jam i would say the speed that you need to do this is enough to pop out onto the deck turn 90 degrees and then you can practice shifting your body weight forward sticking the foot in the wheel at first it's quite a daunting trick like you know it's not a natural thing to do sticking your foot in the wheel and, and finding your balance but again it is a cool tech trick to learn it's definitely worth learning once you know how to do it you can start linking lines together and stuff and it just it's a sick trick to learn so that's what we're here to do today learn how to foot jam so the basic principles of this trick is obviously your foot is going in the front wheel your front foot is going in the front wheel like that and the back end's coming up. So in order for the back end to come up, your body weight needs to shift forward. So when I'm in foot jam on a quarter pipe, my head and shoulders are over the bars. So I'm looking down at the front wheel like that. And then when you get into it, again, this will come with practice as well. So you start shifting your weight in towards the direction of travel that you want to go, which is back into the ramp. So for me, my right shoulder starts pulling back a little bit, which opens up your field of view to go into the ramp. So you want to stay as close to the coping as you possibly can. You don't want to go too far as the hop back in becomes a bit of a mission. You want to keep it quite close to the coping. And uh, yeah, so let's start doing some foot jams. common mistake that I see a lot of riders doing when they do a foot jam is their balance is not where it needs to be so when they go to hop back in their foot drags on the deck which is not what you want because you want to be body weight leaning into the ramp the whole time stay close to the coping so the hop back in isn't such a mission away and then um, yeah don't get too cocky with a trick because this has caught me out too many times once you learn it and you get confident with the trick you start getting complacent which this trick will catch you out because when you go back in and your front wheel catches coping it's not a nice feeling so yeah make sure you you focus on your body weight your body positioning needs to be so when you're in foot down and you're leaning forward your body weight shifted forward as well but when you're going back in you start turning your shoulders back in, in the direction of travel that you want to go and then you hop back in just landed a foot jam so let me show so guys if you find yourself putting your foot down on the deck instead of committing to the pedal it could be a couple of things one it could be that you're not lent over the bars enough 
or it could be that you're not lent into the ramp enough so your body isn't following the bike you need to be nice and tight hold yourself strong on the handlebar grips be confident when you're going back in as well it is a weird sensation to start with but you get used to it and yeah find a quarter pipe that you're happy with like this five foot is perfect you can even learn it on a trick without a coping to start off with and then add coping into it just because it adds a little bit of fear factor but yeah you'll get there keep going like i say learn it in the street if you can on a curb anywhere a bus curb doesn't matter as well there is a way to save this trick like if you land in foot jam and your body weight is off a little bit you can save it by doing little front wheel hops which for added steez don't do the hops keep it nice and clean but it doesn't matter if you do do the hops just for like balance corrections you know a bit of trials riding steez but uh, i'll show you what i mean by doing a few hops to correct your balance The beauty of the foot jam trick is it's such a progressive trick so you can add tricks to it so tricks in tricks out combinations like it's endless once you learn to foot jam and you start getting creative with it sweet your riding has just reached that next level so yeah cheers for watching guys thanks for learning how to do a foot jam with me i hope to see your videos if you land the foot jam and you're trying a foot jam tag me on instagram at jack toes and uh i'll share your videos share the story let's go so quick recap on the foot jam. So basically you want to be hopping into the foot jam. Your front foot goes into the wheel and your body weight shifts forward with that in one motion. So your head and shoulders want to be over the bars. And then when you come in to take it to a quarter pipe, your inside shoulder wants to start opening up so you can spot your landing. Your eyes always looking in the direction of travel. And when you hop back in, you compress, compress on the front wheel like a spring. And then once you've compressed, you pop back out. So you pop back out. And because you've opened up, you can see where you're popping out into. Your body weight always stays close to the coping. Because if it's not stuck close to the coping, you'll find yourself dabbing a foot or just not pulling the trick clean. But again, also, you can save the trick by doing correctional hops. But if you want to keep your riding clean and consistent, try, try and get so good at the trick that you don't need to do the hops you can just literally in out and start adding tricks to it start adding tricks out of it yeah so cheers for watching how to foot jam guys and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, i'll see you in the next video stay tuned let's go